What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Star Wars Black Series 40th Anniversary Legacy Pack, Darth Vader. Now, here we do have Darth Vader in the entire box. You can see it is pretty big. It's taking up the entire room of my studio. We do have the action figure of Darth Vader right here. As well as this really nice image of all the original Star Wars action figures. And it even has the original Kenner logo right here. Okay, let's see if I can flip this to the back really fast. And this does come with a figure display of what you see here. The Star Wars logo, the backdrop, as well as the stands. And we get a little read-up saying... Fe features display stand with back cards to showcase the 40th anniversary figures. Darth Vader figure included. Additional figures sold, sold separately. And then we do get the other figures of the 40th anniversary series. We get Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, Obi-Wan Kenobi, R2-D2, Death Squad Commander, Chewbacca, the Stormtrooper, a Jawa, C-3PO, and Sand Person, or Tusken Raider. Really loving this box. And as you can see, Darth Vader actually has his vintage back card on there. So let's actually get this opened up and show off the Darth Vader card. And then we'll go ahead and open him up and then go on with the rest of the review. So sit tight, everyone. And then really fast, here we have Darth Vader on the card. You can see it's a really nice image of a New Hope Vader. Really, really liking this figure. I can't wait to get him open. I really dig this packaging. It's a shame that I'm going to have to open it. And I'm going to have to find a way to open this without destroying the package. Because I want to really save the back card and maybe keep them somewhat in the package. So we'll have to figure something out. But really liking this style of packaging. Oh look, there's a little tab right here. Maybe I can use that to my advantage. But yeah, other figures in the wave, we do get the Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, Obi-Wan Kenobi, R2-D2, Death Squad Commander, Chewbacca, Stormtrooper, Jawa, C-3PO, Sand Person, and Darth Vader. And then because we do have the anniversary pack, we are getting this display stand, which I'll probably show off with pictures. But enough about the packaging, let's actually go ahead and get this bad boy open up and go on with the rest of the review. So sit tight, everyone. And finally, here we have Darth Vader posing out of the packaging. Before we get on to the figure, I know it's been a long time coming, but let's show off his one and only accessory being his lightsaber. It wouldn't be Darth Vader without his signature red lightsaber, which we can see here. Let's actually show off the lightsaber really fast. You can see it has a lot of nice little details on it. The silver is... I believe it's a silver plastic with the black and the bronze button painted on. I could be wrong, but actually let's find out. We can take the blade off. And it looks black, so maybe it's it's black plastic with painted silver. But yeah, the blade does come off and you can see it does have a little hook. And right on the side of Vader's belt, we do have a little hook right there. So if you don't want Vader holding his lightsaber, you can have it hooking onto the side. But I did find that they made his little hook out of this really soft rubber. And the ring isn't big enough to house the lightsaber. So you're going to be struggling with that quite a bit. Uh, but you can get it on... I'm more than likely just going to have Vader displayed holding the lightsaber. And then you can see the blade does detach. It is keyed so that you know which direction to put it in. You can see those little grooves right there. You just line up those grooves and it slides in no problem. So let's move his lightsaber off to the side really fast. And onto the figure itself. And I have to say, I am really impressed by this figure. There's a few things I don't like about it, but then there's more things I love than hate. So 
Let's actually go over the things I don't like, and that's this fabric that they used for his cape. Uh, it out of packaging, this is the way it is. Um, I haven't been able to get it down in any way, but I guess it kind of does add bulk to Vader. But he's already a pretty big figure, so I don't know why you'd want to add more mass to him. I guess that looks pretty okay, I guess. And it is based on his New Hope look, so he does have the cloak coming over his armor like this. I know a lot of people say they aren't a fan of that, but this is the, uh, the a New Hope Vader. This is how he looked in Rogue One, A New Hope. The cloak came over the armor like that, so... How can you not like classic... I didn't mean really classic Vader. He has a big control panel that you can see here. And then I think the only other problem I have with mine is quality control is that his ankles are a tad loose at some point. So getting him to stand is going to be somewhat of a tricky problem. But you can see I really haven't had too many issues with standing him. So that's good. I'm just worried that over time I'm going to have issues. I really hope that that is not the case. But yeah, he, he does hold his lightsaber in his in either hand, although it is designed to be held in his right hand. So, you can see he holds it really well. And then he does have a choking hand on this side. So he can be forced choking somebody. And there's, I didn't even notice that, he has a red button on his gauntlet. Is that supposed to be there? I don't think it is, but... I'm hoping that's just stray paint, because I don't think he's supposed to have that on him. But it does look sculpted on. Maybe it is just excess paint. Uh, maybe it's my imagination, but I'll figure that out. I'm like 99.999% sure that this is a paint error. But it's not coming off, so maybe... I don't know. But yeah, you can see he does hold the lightsaber really well in this hand. Once he's holding it, it's not going to go anywhere. And like I said, you can get him to hold it in this hand. But it's not... Actually, it's still a pretty good fit. So, whichever hand works for you, you can have him holding it in. And since we have the camera here, let's actually go on to his details. I did not pick up the first Black Series Darth Vader... Uh, I really didn't like the direction Hasbro was going with the Black Series when they first announced it. And their first Vader was a really terrible figure. It had a really big head. The sculpt was all wrong. It looked nothing like Vader. But this, this is actually a huge improvement. This actually looks like Vader from A New Hope. And he also has, they're supposed to be red tinted lenses, but they use this really dark brown red and under the harsh lights it is noticeable but when you cover it up it's not as noticeable so if you're turned off by the red lenses just be aware that under harsh lights it's really noticeable under regular conditions it's not as noticeable his armor is really well done I think they could have done a little bit better job hiding the seam a little higher up here but I pretty sure that this is one continuous piece so I would be able to move this up if I really wanted to. You can see his buttons are all painted silver. The cod piece which looks really Rogue One-ish so this appears to be a combination of A New Hope and Rogue One Vader. I know people are going to say they're the same armor but there are subtle differences in them. And then we get on to his shin guards. Nice texturing on the back. So just overall a really, really well done figure. I don't have any import Vaders. I haven't been able to get hold of them. But I have seen reviews and people are saying that this is probably the definitive Vader for the time being. So I'm really happy with my Vader. So let's move the camera out so we can go on to his articulation. Vader would have a ball jointed head, although it really doesn't work all too well. You're mainly just going to be using it for a swivel, so just be aware of that, and don't be 
applying too much pressure on the side because you will end up bending his helmet in. So if you're going to turn his head, turn his head at the top of it, the helmet. Arms on a ball joint, they do go out to about this far. Do a full 360. He's single jointed at the elbow, but you get a little better than 90 degrees. Uh, no swivel at the glove, but we do get a swivel in the wrist, as well as a hinge. So that's all good there. We have a ball joint right here in the torso, although not the best range of movement, but it does move side to side. You're mainly going to be using Vader's ab joint for a swivel because uh, you're really not going to get too much up and down movement but then again who's Vader looking up to legs go forward to about there back and out to about there he swivels up at the thigh he is double jointed at the knee although Vader isn't the most athletic guy in the world so you know it is good that we get the double joint I'm just not going to be using it because Okay, there we go. This one bends a little better. But more than likely, I'm just going to be using one joint for Vader. Uh, we don't get a boot swivel, but we do get a hinge in the ankle, which moves back and forth. As well as a side or forward-facing pin, which gives us rocker ankles. So overall, just a really nice Vader figure. What I'm going to do now is take a little break, get a pose for my final thoughts, then we'll wrap up this review. So sit tight, everyone. And so here we have Darth Vader pose for my final thoughts. Overall, I really do love this figure, and I think Darth Vader alone would have been just a really nice figure, but we do get that really nice display stand. I haven't pulled mine out of the packaging. I know I said I'd post pictures, but I'm trying my best not to have it displayed yet until I get more of the 40th anniversary figures. But Vader is my first anniversary, 40th anniversary figure, and I had to say they did a really good job with Darth Vader. I'm really looking forward to getting all the rest of the figures. Now, I've been trying to find this Darth Vader for a really long time. The moment I heard he was hitting targets, I was out looking at every single target, calling them up, asking when they were going to get another shipment. I had no luck and basically went into GameStop on my lunch break and saw him on right above the toy, so I just picked him up and purchased him at GameStop. He is going to run you at least $40. I paid a little more since it was GameStop. But if you can find this set and you really are a fan of Star Wars and just want this really nice figure, I really think he's a he's a must-have for any Star Wars fan. Uh, if you're collecting the three three-quarter figures or the black six-inch black series, you're gonna want to have this guy in your collection. He's just a really nice, really well-done figure. With that being said, guys, I really recommend the Black Series 40th Anniversary Vader. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and let me know down in the comments what you think of this Darth Vader. Is he the best Vader figure we've had in the 6-inch scale, or do you think there's better ones out there? Let me know down in the comments. As always, go ahead and check out my other action figure reviews. All my Star Wars Black Series reviews are also up, so go ahead and check those out. And if there's a figure you would like to see me re review, let me know down in the comments, and if it fits into my collection, I will definitely have a look at it. And until next time, I'm King of Dragons 5000, and I'll see you later, guys. Take care, everyone. My dreams are nightmares. How can I sleep? You got the gun.